Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from Bearway. If you're finding us for the first time, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos from Bearway. In this new video, we'll see how to dynamically remove columns in Power Query. So let's see how it works. Sometimes when you load data from different sources like CSV file or Excel file, you want to delete some columns that you will not use, but without deleting them manually, which can be an exhaustive task. So let's take an example and see how to do it using the M code. We have this CSV file, which contains sales data of product categories, continent and some ID columns. The file structure can change and we may have more ID columns. The ID columns are not used in our report, so we want to delete them in Power Query. Let's jump to Power BI Desktop and open the Power Query Editor. As you can see, we have already imported the CSV data. To delete the columns manually, we just need to select all the ID columns then right click and select remove columns a new step is added if we take a look to the formula we can see that the function table that remove columns is used it accepts two parameters the first one is a table which is the previous step and the second parameter is the columns to delete you got it right to meet our need we need to make sure that the list of columns changes. So how we're going to get the list of ID columns? Let's first duplicate the query, then remove the step to have all the columns. We're going to add a new step In the custom step, we will use the table that column names function, which returns the column names in the table as a list of text. If we use it, in the table we put the previous step. We get a list of column names. Now, we need to keep only the column names that ends with underscore id so we're going to use another function which is list dot select it returns a list of values from a list that match the selection condition the first parameter is our previous list with column names and for the second parameter, we're going to apply, let's say, a filter using text.endsWith function, which indicates if a text ends with the specified value. The syntax for the second parameter is each text.endsWith underscore comma underscore id which means for each row, we're going to verify if the value ends with underscore ID. As you can see, we get only the ID columns. Nice. Now we can copy the M code to get this result. Go back to our first query And instead of the list of columns, we're going to pass the M code. Okay, cool. As you can see, the columns are removed. Just to make sure it works just fine, we can modify the CSV file and add a new ID columns.
Let's refresh the source step. We now have the new added column. If we go through each step, at the last one we can see that all the ID columns are removed. Now we can close and apply and start creating visualizations. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, post them in the comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with new videos from BIWay. See you in the next video.